good day today and excited to uh, to get to kickoff here. So next 48 hours will be critical finishing our prep and be ready to go play a great football game. I'll open it up. We'll start with Brent and then go to Kellyanne in the back. Coach, I got to ask, do you have any kind of injury update or are we just supposed to go with Wes's quote from Saturday? <laughs> yeah, since Wes is here on time, we'll just uh, we'll go with his quote from earlier in the week and, and <laughs> be able to ride with that up until kickoff. Hey, Coach, has Cedric been able to practice this week? And if so, how much has he been able to do? Uh, all, all those guys that uh, were nicked up last week, um, you know, uh, those guys we're going to find out here in the next couple couple days where they're at and, and uh, their availability for the game. Um, hopeful with, uh, with all of them. Jimmy? Josh, what makes Florida's run game so effective? Um, first of all, they got good skill players, and, and uh, they're big, strong, physical up front, and you got to be able to handle their unbalanced sets and communicate and be gapped out. And because of you know the athletes that have the ball in their hands, you got to do a great job of tackling. And, and uh, you know that's the running backs, but it's the quarterbacks too. Austin, Josh Florida's got that big nose tackle, um, massive. Y'all went against Jordan Davis last year. How do you compare those two? And, and because. You know, Cooper was able to go in that game against Georgia last year. You feel like that prepares him to go against this kid too. Yeah, he's similar he, at all. He's a unique body and, and just body type, and and uh, obviously his athleticism at that size is is uh, is rare. Um, you know, Coop's gone against a guy like that before. Um, we've gone against it uh, offensive line. Uh, the battle in the trenches this week will will be uh, a big part of, of how the football game unfolds, and, and we got to do a good job on the offensive line of, of uh, you know controlling their entire front, not just him. Coach, you guys are eight and nine on fourth down this season. I know a lot of different, a lot of it's short yardage, different spots on the field. Kind of, how do you go about those calls? Is it how much is analytics involved? Is it a gut feel? How do you kind of evaluate those decisions? Uh, just, in the moment? Uh, we talk about it as a staff, uh, you know, in our game day meeting, just kind of my thought process and and uh, you know how situations might unfold in different field zones and and um, and then there's a feel for the game too and, and how things are structurally playing out and and uh, your matchups during the course of it. <clears throat> Josh, there's been a lot going on outside of the building this week around campus, and I'm sure there's been some extra interviews here and there because of college game day. Do you feel like the guys have handled all the peripheral stuff and stayed focused on the main thing this week? Yeah, uh, early in the week, there's a little bit of, of extra. Um, there's probably a little bit here on the back end of the week, too, uh, on Friday afternoon before you get to Saturday. Um, our guys have been really good. Uh, um, you know, the focus uh, has been really good. The, the practices have been uh, intentional in the way they've approached it <clears throat> you know the next 48 hours continuing our prep and and uh and finishing our preparation will be a big part of it uh the outside noise the the uh, the opportunity that's here like you work to have these opportunities and, and early in the week you know, i told our players to uh, enjoy the fact that we have this opportunity um but that has nothing to do with how we play we got to prepare the right way and uh, we've been pretty good up until this point so we got to finish it out Josh, Florida has experienced safeties there in the back end, play a lot of football, um, you know, it's impact players back there. What, what challenges do they present in disguising coverages and just overall their play? Yeah, I just think in, in general, they're, they're really good football players that have played a bunch of football. Um, you know, we've seen them. Uh, their ability to, to be in coverage and, and, uh, and do a really good job of that, and then their ability to tackle in space. Um, you know, Inevitably, most of your run game um, is designed where you know the ball's going to get to the third level, and, and uh, your back's got to make that guy miss to, to create some big plays in it, and <clears throat> that'll be a big part of the game here. You know, uh, obviously, I talked about handling their front, um, but their safeties do a great job in the run fits too. Uh, hey, Josh, can you talk about Anthony Richardson? I think this will be his first road start. Um, how how important will crowd noise be to affect a young quarterback, and what do you see in in Florida's uh, signal caller? Yeah, um, you know, he's got the ability, arm talent, to, to push the ball down the football field. They have playmakers on the outside. Um, you know, his ability to, to be a factor in the run game, and that can be quarterback designed run game, that can be read game, and that could be him scrambling outside of the pocket uh, when his reads aren't open. <clears throat> he's got the ability to, to create huge plays in, in the run game. We got to bottle him up in the pocket, not let him get out. We got to do a great job of tackling him in space. Um, and it's, you know, 
his combination of athleticism and size that is rare at, at that position, um, you know, that can be a, an issue at times. And so, <clears throat> you know, crowd noise, I can't imagine that uh, this won't be the loudest stadium in, in the country on Saturday. I cannot imagine that it wouldn't be that way. And uh, it was loud last year at times and certainly uh, here in the early part of the season, but I expect it to be absolutely electric for 60 minutes. Josh, uh, typically Florida's defensive backs are really good at press coverage. Do you like where your receivers are against press coverage? Yeah, it's an, another uh, game within the game, matchup uh, within the, the game that uh, will have a huge bearing on the game, right? And uh, we got to be able to go win against those guys. Um, it is press coverage, and, and uh, yeah, we anticipate uh, or believe in, in our guys. You know, that's a part of how we play and, and uh, believe in the guys that we got out there. <coughs> Josh, when you're trying to teach a, a football team how to improve or, or how to just generally how to tackle in space, the, obviously these days you can't hit the way you used to, you know, back when you played and even beyond that. How, how do you how do you get guys to, to work on, you know, tackling better in space? Without yeah, tackling's about um, your eyes being right and, and body position. And so you can emphasize those things in every drill and every team setting, uh, how you finish every play that you have. And, um, if you're in those positions, uh, I'm not going to say the tackling take care of, takes care of itself, but it, it kind of does, you know. And, and uh, obviously, we work things in, in uh, you know, non-physical portions, you know what I mean, where we're working on donuts and, and those types of things as well. Uh, we did more during the course of training camp than we did a year ago just because our team was deeper. Uh, we had better practice habits, so we were able to, you know, do those things and not put kids in as vulnerable situations and, and uh, you know, Tackling will be a big part of the game here on Saturday. The focus of the recruiting world will be here Saturday. How do you balance that versus getting ready to coach a football game and then know that, you know, that atmosphere that Mike asked about can have a huge impact on, you know, the, the momentum you guys get with that? Yeah, it can have a huge impact on the game. Expect it to have a huge impact on the game. Um, make it as hard as possible for them to communicate, expect our crowd to be a huge factor in the game, but it's also a great environment for our recruits to, to be able to see what game day looks like here, man. There's nothing better than game day here in, uh, in Knoxville, Tennessee. And it starts when, uh, when we load the buses and drive over and you can see the fans along the river, whether that's on the boats or uh, tailgating on the other side of it. And when you get out for vol walking, there's 40,000 people, man. There's, there's nothing like it in, in college sports. Recruiting, uh, it's, a, it's a huge weekend for us. And, and uh, you don't do anything that takes away from your preparation, your players' preparation. Uh, the game's the most important thing. Um, but those moments uh, that you have an opportunity to, uh, the recruiting piece is, uh, is vital to you know, the continued growth of our program. <laughs> Coach, you said a few times where you talked to your team earlier this week and said sort of embrace this opportunity because they've created it for themselves. I guess some coaches would probably be like, block all of it out, don't listen to any of it. Why, why did you do that? Why did you kind of point that out to your team to sort of embrace the, the stage that, that's going to be? Yeah, because it's impossible to block out the noise in, in today's world. You know, um, it's, it's absolutely impossible. Um, so they're going to see it and hear it. Uh, you can't let it affect what matters, which is your preparation. Everybody's going to want to win on game day. You got to do what it takes to win. And um, um, so I think that's important. Um, our kids should be and are excited about this one. It's always big when we play Florida. And, and um, so embrace that at the beginning of the week and then uh, being cons consistent. You know, if you guys were out at practice, I, you know, the energy, you've heard me speak, it's not a whole lot different, man. We're, we're business-like in our approach. Uh, our kids have a much better understanding of how to prepare. And, and uh, now we got to finish it and go play. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it, guys. <clears throat>